Hello you guys, this is Sally Miku and today I'm going to show you a tutorial on um, how to change Project Diva Future Tone controller settings. Now, I'm going to show you how to change Project Diva Future Tone's controller settings. Now all you have to do is hit Y, not Y. Why did I do that? <laughs> hit the triangle to customize. Then you see modules, hairstyles, accessories, button sound effects, I think, effects, config, and game controller config. Now, you want to hit this. Now, there's a lot of these different things. I customized my melody icon display so it would match the buttons on the controller. Now, go to button config, and now you have this wide variety of uh, buttony buttons. Now, I customized it like earlier. So, uh, yep. <laughs> and somehow it doesn't give you the option to change like the touchpads, uh, left and right thing. Because apparently you could do the left and right thing on the touchpad while you're trying to hold. Now, I did the right bumper, the X, the right trigger, the circle, the left trigger, the triangle, and the left bumper, the square. Now, you can change these however you want. I just like to do it without all the com combo combinations on these. So, I did them all one by one. Then you hit apply settings if you're happy with the settings. And then you can do whatever you want with this. Hit circle to go back. And now we'll test it out. Okay, so. And then start game. And we'll only see it a little bit. Like half of the song. I completely forgot. Yeah, I had it changed for a Mako song, so. Here's a note, like, the triggers are very sensitive with button hitting, so it's not, they're very sensitive with button hitting, so if you even hit it lightly, it, it'll count as, uh, hitting the button. <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay, well, I think I got... I got one... One miss. Wrong, almost. So, yeah, I got an excellent, even though I got a perfect last time. But, yeah, I hope you liked this, like, tutorial and show. So, I hope you liked it. See you in another video.